Good morning. Good morning. Could you start by telling us your name and your branch of service? Richard, middle initial H, Kaiser, United States Marine Corps. And what was your rank when you left service? E4, Corporal. Okay. When did you serve? I went in, in January 1966, uh, two years active duty, and then reserve until 1971. Okay. What's your connection to Southwest Virginia? Born here. Okay. How and why did you enter the military? Uh, my mother was a captain in World War II. My uncle was aboard a B-17, was shot down as a POW. So it was just a natural progression into that. Okay, so you were not drafted? No, I joined. Okay. Uh, what were some of the jobs that you performed while you were in service? I was just basic Marine Corps infantry. Okay. And where were some of the places that you lived? While in the Marine Corps or later? Well, in the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. um, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, Camp Pendleton, Okinawa, okay. then back to Lejeune. While you were in service, how did you stay in touch with your friends and family? Letters, mm -hmm. that's all. Could you tell us a memorable experience, something that happened to you while you were in service? It could be funny, it could be serious, just something that really you remember. Not really in service, but even in high school, <clears throat> several friends, uh, four others to be exact, we decided that we needed to serve. So uh, we joined, not everybody Marine Corps, uh, one army, the rest Marine Corps. So fast forward, get out of um, boot camp, infantry training, um, Camp Pendleton, I got into Vietnam. Um, I got in Vietnam in June, 1966. and. Um, not really, not really anything memorable. It's just a blurred year, 13 months to be exact. But one strange thing today actually marks the 57th year that uh, I was on an Operation Buffalo in Vietnam. And mm -hmm. Buffalo is recorded as being um, um, out of 400 people in two companies, um, 200 were wounded. Um, it also is a day that on one given day, it still is the day that there was more Marines killed on one battle at any other time. So mm -hmm. it's ironic that today is this anniversary. So mm -hmm. a lot of good times though also. Any other stories you'd like to share? Um, you had to have kind of a strange sense of humor in Vietnam. It had really bad. And it was a, I still keep in touch with two friends, John Pappas, Chicago, Grant Pollock, Redding, California. And uh, there was one guy, last name Cobb. I can picture the face, but I can't, can't think of the first name. But uh, we kind of picked on him more than we should have. So we concocted a, a story that, um, I would get in a body bag and uh, Pappas and Pollock would tell Cobb that I was killed. And do you want to look at him? So they unzipped the bag and I did this. So I can confirm that with one telephone call to Grant Pollock in Redding, California. Okay. But, uh, of course, we would steal trucks and uh, go to the veal, you know, for a little while. but. Uh, that's about it as far as in country. Okay. And finally, what message would you like to pass on to the next generation about military service? That's a tough question also. Um, it seems that you have to, seems like you almost are, it's born and bred into you. It's, it's hard to influence someone who has no interest in it at all or, um, even interest in our country. So mm -hmm. certainly the, the military, irregardless of what branch is, uh, it's a very good thing in my opinion. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.